that but what he's saying sound like a police state town uh chicago but what they do is they they you have to have in, in chicago you have to have if you're under 21 you got to have somebody that's over 21 to actually bring you in there and they count the people as they come in that area they put up a little barrier it's crazy so so we didn't and it's over there with this little we didn't even get it going in there because the line was so long i said man we ain't going in there. let's go somewhere else you know what i'm saying but but we can watch why <laughs> Crowd swept into the South Loop, Millennium Park, and Michigan Avenue, outnumbering Chicago police who had to scramble officers to the scene. They, they, they my people too, man. They my people. Not unexpected. They so people. On a warm they Saturday people. night. They don't want to have nothing to do with history you. On similar occasions. First of all, was there a plan? I mean, as as a district Two commander, crisis, yeah. again, you're responsible for that district 24/7. Did you have a plan? Did you sit down with your leadership team? Gene Roy was chief of detectives at no, CPD when he retired in late 2016. Roy talking with the I-team about the melee on Michigan Avenue, these scrapes on State Street, and police who appeared to have little command direction, no helmets and shields, and helter-skelter communication. Roy is concerned about patrol officers possibly being put on scene without adequate plans oh, or direction. You have a plan. You have the pieces all assembled. You have your toolkit. It's like a mechanic. You go to work with a toolkit every day. And with Chicago just securing the 2024 Democratic National Convention, ex-chief Roy says the city needs to do better. You know, you have to wonder if somebody in Washington at the DNC is going, did we make a bad choice here? Hey, this is a critical time for the city. We have an interim police superintendent. But who's going to come bomb rush the Democratic team uh, convention? Nobody. Going. So what's next? Roy tonight says the plans have been used before, starting with CTA they stations. Put officers at the key L stops, and you prevent people from jumping the turnstile and going downtown. You prevent them from starting the evening off breaking a law. Have them turn around and go home if they don't have money. Make sure there's a plan in place. Make sure that you're coordinated with other agencies. That, but what he's saying sounds like a police state. Turning people around if they don't have money, we're going to go through their pockets? What's, what's, what's up with that? This America. Still. It got to hey, be uh, a better way. But remember, I told you this area that they're running uh -huh. around damaging cars and damaging um uh looting stores and all that downtown there's a lot of nice stores down in downtown chicago when uh -huh. i went last uh uh winter or whatever the mm -hmm. uh last year but but like i said man they they, they acting a fool yes and i i seen a clip somewhere where this <laughs> this black lady she was like somebody uh, they need some home training that type stuff yeah you know what i mean and that's yeah. true that's true because Yes, they were mad because they couldn't go there by themselves. They had to have an adult and all of that to get them in because they had these little rules or whatever, because that keeps the crime down or whatever. And then they just, it was so many of them. I mean, what can you do? So they looted all those different places. If we, I don't know if we can run across any any uh, video or anything, but you should see the Walmarts and the k They, they, man. Oh my God, dude! They just ransacked that place, and then the the new mayor because Lightfoot is gone. Yeah, she gone, and they just they ain't doing them but bring another. Uh, this is a dude in there now. It's garbage, straight garbage. Well, with so, that being said, would you have liked the scene? And well, I not won't put that on you. Difficult question, but uh, I'll say the police should have had riot gear and all that stuff. But rubber bullets being that that would create so much uh negative attention i think it'll go global mm -hmm. if we we got a bunch of these teenagers doing these stupid things but then the police come out they pose to protect and serve people property mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. safeguard mm -hmm. but then shooting rubble bullets shooting bean bags at these teenagers 
Uh, yeah, so so the what? reason why they didn't do that, and they didn't do that when we, we spoke about this about the spring break in Miami when they were damaging stuff down there. You know, people you know going down there for the uh, spring break. Yeah, the uh, it's it's dude. They do not want anything negative yes. like that that they are doing towards black people because we have already been in a hardship over these four hundred years, and this is nothing more than something extra on top of that. Well, so that's I'm, why they're not gonna they're not gonna do those type things because you know they're gonna the media will run with that. You shot beanbags at 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 sixteen year olds, yeah. That, not that, knowing what they're actually doing, they're gonna leave those key key pieces out, and they'll paint a narrative of you guys are going against uh, the black the black the uh, I guess the black youth. Well, they will do that. I would have, I would have had those massive. Uh, what? What would you do? Pepper spray cannons, the riot control. They, they would have said that. Oh well, so that. be it. You see what's going on, people. Yeah, it was. It was you see what's that. going on, and then pe- some people say, "Well, they can just rebuild these stores. The stores got insurance." No, we should not let this happen. And that's just frustration. Stores will move. See, this is this is how you become. Go ahead. This I know where you can go. Area. Yes, this is how the area oh, becomes one of those little uh, poverty stricken areas. When the businesses are moving out because you said, oh, they can go get, they got insurance. They go ahead. Well, they they take their insurance and go somewhere where it's not violent. They will take those stores out of, and then you will have all these uh, the, the low poverty stricken areas. And that's what will happen. Can, They'll push the people out. They'll push these yeah, yeah. nice businesses out. Uh, can, so that's, but, but, but see, that's what I'm talking about. So I, I don't want to hear nothing about they got money and all this and that. They, these kids are not starving. Look at their feet. Yeah. Look at the clothes I, I that they're wearing. It. I saw it. Yeah. Look at look at that. I bet you every one of them got some J's on, some Nikes, some something. And, they're not uh, poverty stricken. What are uh, you talking about? And I'll say this. Um, when uh, they had repealed whatever law over on the West Coast uh, about they can steal up to people can steal up. I said people can steal up to a thousand dollars without yeah, or nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. And I don't know if it was CVS, but it was stores that they was leaving. Yes, they was closing multiple stores because they couldn't keep things on the shelf. Wouldn't you do it? Yes. If you had your own drugstore, draw job, Mitch drugstore. Yeah. If you had that, and they were coming in, they can get up to a thousand dollars each person. Mm. <laughs> Dude, you you go you go bankrupt. Yeah. And this one here talking about Walmart. Yeah, like, like, man, I've heard these stories, man. This is in what Portland? They closing them down, man. In many, those areas. How many? Jobs and then is I'm gonna locked. tell you what that uh, that mayor said in Chicago. I think they were trying to close some some WalMarts down there too. But the mayor said in Chicago is. You know, they, they're just trying to, you know, survive and this and that. What? Come on now. What? You going to give them an excuse to steal? Is you crazy? You dumb. You dumb. And that's why I don't think it's going to change in Chicago because this new, new guy that I can't remember his name. It, 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 it slips my mind. But, man, they're going to be in the same predicament. It's just a different face. So you get your you got to You got to hold these hold these people accountable. Yes. Quit getting all all these handouts. Quit doing all this stuff, man. I, I that's agree. the that's the only way to happen because we've been giving handouts for years. Has it helped? I know you said it. Hey, did it help? It helped me because of. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, ahead. go and finish your statement, <laughs> <laughs> so I can start cooking. Yeah. Did it help? No. Look, I'm not saying I'm for. Just oh, thank you for uh, bringing that up. So that's. <laughs> oh it. yeah, Brandon Johnson. That's his name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mr. That's Johnson. the dude there. Mr. That dude there. Oh my God. He he's in a tough position. Oh man, my he gotta God. Make some, he has to make some big decisions. Where he wants he's Chicago not, to be. Have you heard him led. speak about this? I man, about the I little have kids, not. man, I have and not. looting. I have not. Came. Somebody questioned him. I don't know what I don't know if it was CNN or Fox or somebody. Good morning, America. Somebody was questioning him and he was just dodging. He was like this. He was trying to dodge everything and, you know, saying, you know, these people, you know, the poverty stricken. And I said, like, come on, man. Hold it. Why, why we don't hold each other accountable? Why are we always pointing fingers? Why? 
It's easy. You say it's my people. You say it's my people. Yeah. Well, point them out, claim, damn Mitch. I claim them all. I claim them Point them, them out. All. You don't. You always give them a, a, a scapegoat. No, I'm not giving them a scapegoat. You know, not hey, on this. You know, yeah, I'm, the, I'm. I'm. I'm so. I'm. You know, I don't. I don't I condone breaking the law. I don't condone it from anybody, mm-hmm. and from my kids. Our kids don't respect the elders, the adults. They'll talk to them crazy. Man, I hate going back to your point because I used to fight you on this, but family, family, yeah. family values. And now from what we just saw, people, congregation, uh, Big T, I know you'll put something in the comments, but it's hard to reach once they even 13, 14 years old, if they're doing things in this, in that life, we may have to start reaching them even younger because it seems like our kids now, and I'm talking about kids in general, they don't care. They don't respect anything. And that's almost going with all different races now because they mimic each other. Of course, of course. Uh, maybe we want to hear some okay. some okay. Uh, okay. encouraging words from Mary Lack, Brandon Johnson. Okay. Let's, let's hear. Go. Let's hear. Chicago that truly invests in all of its people. Now, you've heard me say this before, Stop. Chicago. Well, you're going to keep hearing it because. The- oh, no, no. I was telling Kane to stop me in the back. <laughs> Please keep playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> A part of this movement has always been about investing in people. I'll be honest. This is personal for me. Investing in people is at the heart of this campaign because I've seen what disinvestment looks like. Uh- Meanwhile, fellow Democrat Paul Vallis accepting defeat last night in front of a stunned group oh, that was of his supporters. Acceptance speech. Okay, well, yeah, the, uh, that's your boy right there. Well, look, look, that, look, Kane. That's Can your we, boy. That's, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. That's the roughest city right there. Look, oh, I know, God. but look, Kane, you got to give this guy some time. You have to. We know. I got to give him benefit of the doubt, right? Now, is Kane? If he just started something, okay. If he just started. I just it's watched tough. him give an interview okay. condoning, How long but not he been condoning. There? Okay, so he, he was he condoning, but not condoning. He planned huh? politics. We know politics is a vicious, a vicious Come game. On, man. No, 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 no. Give him some time. You got to allow. You want him to be a politician then? Give him some time. So he, he is can a, be politician. a politician. He is so, a politician. So you want to give him some time so he can do his politicking thing? Is that what you want? Kane, anybody that's elected. Whether you voted for them or not, if they're gonna say they're gonna try to do what's right forever, we gotta allow a little bit of time. And we know how bad Chicago is all the way around. Give him some time. This if it's three months, he can't do anything in just in three months, Kane. Come on. I I'm just saying, dude, I just seen them they straight up asked him about the the looting and everything. He just kind of skated around. He did his little politicking.